Now to Gyeonggi-do province, which is a region on the outskirts of Seoul, which is getting a lot of attention at this year's elections, not only because of its location and its huge population, but also for the tight race that is expected there between the, the ruling and the main opposition party. For more, we have our Connie Lee standing by at a polling station in Gyeonggi-do province. Connie. Good morning, Mark. I'm reporting live to you from a polling station just outside of the capital in the city of Suwon in Gyeonggi-do province. Now, we have seen a steady flow of voters coming here to this polling station uh, since polls opened at 6 this morning. Now, the age range of those voters have varied um, with both the old and young coming out. Now, citizens here are voting for a new governor of Gyeonggi-do province. Uh, but the outcome, however, is unpredictable this year because it's seen as one of the tightest races in the nation. But besides that, a lot of eyes are on this region of Korea because of its regional significance of Gyeonggi-do province. With its very close proximity to the capital's Seoul, the politics here and ultimately the outcome of the race here play an influential and important role in the central government um, politics of um, Gyeonggi-do province. Oh, Gyeonggi-do province also covers a large area, being the most populated province with about 12 million residents and nearly 10 million eligible voters. Also this year, more attention is on how citizens will vote here. The recent Seodo ferry disaster especially affected many of the citizens here in this province. You know, the city of Antan, or the location of the high school that lost hundreds of students and teachers in the ferry accident, is actually part of Gyeonggi-do province. So people here who are disappointed with the rule Party's handling of the situation. There are predictions that they might vote for the other party for their governor. Mark? Yeah, Connie, I'm sure the ferry disaster is still very high on the minds of the voters and is bound to be a variable in this election, particularly there in Gyeonggi-do province, for the reasons you mentioned. So we are expecting a tight race, as you said. Tell us more about the two main candidates. Well, it is neck and neck between the ruling party's, Henry Party's candidate uh, Nam Gyeong Pil and the main opposition, New Politics um, Alliance Democracy candidate uh, Kim Jin Pyo. Now, in the last opinion poll legally available and conducted in May, uh, mid May by media research, Henry Party's Nam had a voter approval rating of 40.2%. Now, that was just slightly higher than Kim's approval rating with 39.4%. You know, before the Seoul Affair disaster, opinion polls show that Nam did have a clear edge over Kim. But after the incident, you now see that voter sentiment has clearly changed. Reporting live from Suwon in Gyeonggi-do province, this has been Connie Lee.